Shell Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we've had quiet conditions over the last few days, and we're still seeing that here locally, but do want to give you some information on our latest named tropical system in the Atlantic. Two named storms here before the season even officially begins on June 1st. Today, it was Bertha that formed just off the coast of Charleston, South Carolina. It became a tropical storm right as it was making landfall, so it's already moved on shore, and heavy rain is the biggest factor with this. It's moving to the north now at 15 miles per hour with max winds at 50 miles per hour. It's going to continue to weaken as it moves over North Carolina and then eventually Virginia during the morning hours tomorrow. And it actually just gets caught up with a cold front and lifts up into um, southeastern Canada and kind of misses our area. The remnants of it does. Looking at Narragansett right now, we've got blue skies and again a nice day at the beach. A little cooler certainly along the shore than places like North Situate, which have already climbed to nearly 80 degrees this afternoon. 78 in Smithfield, Taunton at 77. Providence at 72. Again, you're getting the cooler winds off the water right now. There, 70 in Westerly, and the temperatures in Boston, Worcester, at about 80 degrees. We have our warmest day of the week expected for today, and hitting 80 in many inland spots are warmer. We're also going to keep the nights foggy. Next couple of nights, I expect the low clouds and the fog to return. Then late in the week, we bring in our chance of showers as a cold front approaches. Let's take a look at the forecast for the rest of this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Close to 80 degrees in Smithfield, Taunton and Providence. Again, along the coastline, we're going to be kind of flirting with some of that fog that's sitting just offshore. So as the later afternoon and evening goes on, you can see that fog starting to advance in even before the sun goes down. So much like what we had yesterday, and that'll really cool things off while inland spots into the early evening hold on to the mild air. That low cloud deck and that fog, like last night, will start to spread inland. So there could be some dense fog advisories that potentially need to be issued, even the potential for a little bit of drizzle in spots early tomorrow morning. Our winds again bringing in that warm and muggy air out of the south. They're breezy in Providence at about 13 miles per hour. It's also bringing in some higher humidity, so the air definitely has a sticky summer like feel to it. The highest humidity will be Friday, and then it'll start to drop on Saturday once that cold front comes through. So that front all the way back here across the center of the nation. Here is what's left of Tropical Storm Bertha and our area of high pressure that's keeping us dry this week around that high. So as we fast forward to Friday and that high moves out, cold front approaches, a couple of scattered showers and a thunderstorm possible, especially by Friday night and we'll wake up to that chance of a spotty shower Saturday morning as that front clears the coast Saturday afternoon. That risk of any scattered showers will come to an end. So looking at our seven day forecast, 81 for today, mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. We have a tough time breaking out of the cloud cover tomorrow, so that'll hold our temperatures down a little bit. Middle 70s for highs and Friday as well. Saturday still warm at the upper 70s, but by Sunday a more refreshing air mass moves in.